Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and I am currently sat on my living room floor. So I have a super, super busy week because it's actually the restock of my shop tonight as it happens. Well, it's not actually tonight. By the time you watch it, it will be tonight. So I have some things to propagate. I recently acquired some pretty massive Monstera. It is the true Monstera Deliciosa Lieb, is it called? I don't know. The really, really big, gigantic Monstera that gets leaves like this. I have one of those and I have a variegated one of those. I was given this Monstera kind of chopped and I'm basically gonna propagate it. I have no idea how I'm gonna do that. Honestly, this is going to be a little bit insane. That's kind of why I'm on my floor. So what have we got today? I have a massive, and I mean massive, variegated Monstera, as in the true variegated Monstera, so not the Albo Bozigiana that is behind me. I have an Albo cutting right here. Let me just grab it. It's stuck on the big Monstera. Here we go, Monstera cutting. This cutting will be sold on my shop tonight, uh, but it hasn't been mossed up yet. So we have this really long, big root. It's already tagged, but I need to moss this up. What else have I got? Oh, I have a tie behind me. Can you see that? There you go. This tie right here, I'm actually gonna propagate a little chunk of that as well. I think that is everything. Now, I know you're already thinking, why is this difficult? This isn't difficult at all, just get on with it. Propagate, why are you making a video on this? Well, one, as I mentioned before, I don't have a lot of time this week, so all the things I wanna do, e.g. rare plant indexes, generally all the planned stuff, I can't do anymore. So that is one reason. The second reason is as follows. This is gonna be difficult, right? So you're gonna have to bear with me because I don't know if there's like enough frame to do this. But just to show you, I mean, at this point, head tests like this is just beyond. It's what people refer to as like the true Monstera Deliciosa, if that makes any sense. So this one here has beautiful yellow variegation. On this leaf here, up, this leaf here, uh, this leaf here that's actually a little bit bendy, but as I say, it's how I got it given to me. Oh, come on. Come on. There. You see that one? And this one as well. And... This one has quite minimal variegation on it. The issue that we have here, the issue is as follows. So I would think that scissors or a knife may get through this. And of course, they're definitely gonna get through the tie because the tie is probably about the same as the regular Monstera, but that beast right there might take a little bit more work. What is the plan I hear you ask? There kind of isn't one. Okay, so there's a little bit of a plan, two minutes. As I mentioned before, most of the Monstera are fine. Obviously this elbow here, this doesn't actually need cutting, so it's fine, it just needs wrapped in moss. But the other three Monstera may need different weapons, shall we say. So I have chosen three weapons that I'm gonna use. So the first weapon I have is a trusty kitchen knife. Beloved of many chefs on a budget. This is not a good knife, you know, it's not of quality, shall we say, but it is a knife. This isn't a sharp knife of any kind. I mean, I think it would hurt if I, you know, poked someone with it, generally, but it is just a cheap Ikea knife. I do cook with it. It's not like it's, I bought it for the video or anything. I do cook with the knife. I don't need to explain why I have a knife. I have a knife. I may use it on the plant. If the knife doesn't work, I have the tool that probably should be used for the job and that are these gardening scissor things. Pretty strong scissors, but obviously the, the gap, the spread on the scissors, I can already see that's not enough to cover that Monstera. I have a third option that I like to call my DEF CON option, and that is the only other thing I've got in the house, to be honest, that might cut this thing, and that happens to be one of these. This is a saw. You know, sometimes you just have to get out a saw if nothing else works. Where we're cutting here, so this, you know, this part of the stem where all the nodes are. If you don't know already, these are nodes on the plant. This is where, you know, new leaves can form. The gaps in between the nodes here, this is known as internodal spacing. So this is where we're gonna cut. But I think you can probably already see my problem right here. That is not getting through that Monstera. You feel me? We're not gonna get through this with a knife. We're certainly not gonna get through this with one of these. So I honestly think that this is the only option. So let's start with this bad boy. So if you're going to propagate a Monstera, obviously this has already been cut, but you cut here in between the nodes. So in this case, I can do, see these roots aren't great, but it's how it was given to me. I can do a cut here and I can also do another cut 
here but I'm not going to because I cannot see a root on here yet so I'm actually only just going to cut this one once because as I say if I cut that here this plant has this aerial root here and this kind of joint plant here has a one there so I don't want to just cut that so for this this node here I'm pretty sure we can just get through this with the clippers I would be very surprised if we couldn't when you cut your monstera try and make sure you've got plenty of gap between you know the node and the other node like the cut you know just don't cut it here you know cut it give it some leeway so we're gonna cut it there oh straight through now then, so we have our cutting here. What I usually do is I seal either end of this with wax. A lot of people have asked me, I think it was in my variegated monster video. They said to me like, you know, what wax are you using? Honestly, it's just candle wax. That's pretty much all there is to it. I'm not going to light some candles in this video and seal these off because I only have scented candles in the house and I actually have fish just over there in an aquarium. So I don't want to light any scented candles or anything of the sort. But if you are gonna kind of plant this up, I would recommend recommend one of two things so the first thing you could do is obviously having sealed the ends you could put this in water now water propagation is pretty good for monstera only there is a massive risk of rot or I should say a massively increased risk of rot compared to using moss instead so if you're going to propagate this in moss it will probably be a little bit slower to propagate however there is much less chance of rot so really it's up to you you can still put these in water just be careful and kind of just babysit it change the water every few days do not leave the water as it is make sure you change it but generally speaking it's kind of fine either way i prefer to do the moss route just because i'm not having bowls of water everywhere but it's really kind of up to you so those are our two regular monstera pieces right let's do the tie because i honestly think the tie is going to be a lot easier than obviously the beast so let's have a look at our tie constellation this is a little bit of a beast if you can't already tell it does have some leaf burn here and there um it's not actually mine it's on loan but i'm going to propagate it all the same and take a piece from it i could propagate this tie in a couple of places you know i can get quite a few cuts down here you will notice the internodal spacing on a tie constellation here is much uh, closer together than at least this you know monster is that i've just shown you so you have to bear that in mind there isn't much internodal spacing just be extra extra careful when you cut this so the only piece I'm actually going to take today is a little piece off the end here. So I'll be taking these two leaves here and I will leave on this aerial root and the rest of it, you know, running down. I feel like the cutters, you know, the clippers will actually do this, but I don't really know. I don't even see this. Let me just wedge it. Hey, propagating with Kaylee. I want to give as much space as I possibly can from the node because obviously if it starts rotting, then we're a bit screwed. Ooh, there we go. Oh, it looks really sad and stumpy now. This is a wonderful Thai constellation cutting, and it is a big one. This is a big Thai, by the way, guys. This is it's pretty well established. In fact, all of the plants I have here today are established. Even the elbow, to be honest, is quite a big leaf. That's not really a small leaf. With this cut being so close to this node, I would 100% moss this one just based on, you know, how close that is there. That doesn't leave much room for error. Now, I do think it'll be fine. It's a tie. It'll be okay. What I would actually probably do here is not run straight away to wax this off. I'd actually just leave this cut out in the air for a little while just to let it callous over a little bit more, just to increase the chance of it not rotting, basically. I couldn't have really cut it any further. There is really not a lot of space left, so... That's just one of those things. Depending on how your monstera is grown, whether it's low light, high light, you may have that problem or you may not have that problem. So it just honestly depends on the space between the nudes. Haven't had to use my trusty knife yet, but I also don't think I should. I, I kind of think like I should saw this. You know what? We're gonna try one uh, cut with the knife and if that doesn't work, we move to the saw. Eh, eh, <laughs> no. I'm gonna start with this, oh my God. Mmm, tricky, tricky. There's clearly a bump there where something else should grow. So I think I'll just chop it here and just, you know, leave a generous amount out. So I'm going to do my best, guys, my best to cut this with a knife. So, I mean, I seriously, seriously do not think that a knife is going to do this. I'm going to try and just cut it, but... Ooh. Oh, it kind of is. Oh. Oh, we could be here for a while. I've resorted to a rocking kind of motion with the knife. Come on. Jesus Christ. Oh, Harriet's delicioso. Not delicioso. Jesus, I, I, nah. Honestly, guys, that's not getting through. I've got maybe 
maybe a third of the way. It's time to use the tool. What could possibly go wrong? It's fine, it's fine. It's only a super retta monstera. What could possibly go wrong here? Okay, so I'm actually just gonna saw it. All right, we've got some movement. We've got it, we've got it. Come on. Ah! <sighs> Honestly, that's like sawing through a tree. I'm not even kidding. So we have uno. Just in case, in case the size of this doesn't actually come off on camera, I'm gonna grab the node so you can see just how like fat that is in my hand. That is some serious, serious thickness right there. Look at that. Super quick head test, super quick head test. Like, hello. <laughs> if anybody is wondering what I'm actually gonna do with these, I'm probably gonna keep one for myself or keep them to propagate, but I will probably auction a couple of them off. I don't know where that's gonna be. Just keep following me on Instagram and I will, you know, post something whenever they're auctioned. Maybe it'll be on eBay, maybe it'll be on Facebook. I don't know. I imagine my inbox is probably gonna flood after this video, but I'll let you know, I'll do my best. We now have our next node, and this does have a few more aerial roots on it, but it's the same, you know, thing as last time. This here, I ho really hope you can see this, otherwise this video is a waste of time, isn't it? But there's roots here, there's two massive roots coming in here, so I'm just gonna cut again in between the nodes. Oh my goodness, right. So I'm just gonna... Oh God. Oh, this one's much easier. I think maybe I've got the good angle on it. Yeah, that was way easier. Maybe I'm getting the hang of sewing. These leaves are pretty transit damaged, by the way, but honestly, I know it kind of sucks when plants are like that, but really it's in the genetics. That's the important thing, right? Because this will grow and this will produce new leaves and then this leaf won't be a problem. So as long as it's reasonably healthy, you know, it's not dead, you're, you're good to go. And to be honest, even if it is dead, a lot of the variegation, it's, it's in the stem. It's, as I say, it's in the genes of the plant. It's what is contained within. So it really is fine. I know it looks, you know, not its best, should we say, but honestly, it's not even a worry of mine. This is just what happens with big plants. You can't avoid it. They're so big. Like how on earth can you ship these? You know what I'm saying? With this one, probably wax it, maybe even pot it into, you know, a really well-draining arid mix. I don't really know. Like I've never had a Monstera this big. Definitely not water though. I can definitely say that just because these are obviously way more high risk with them being, you know, super, super rare. Right. So we've got I think we've got one more. Oh no! So my monstera has literally juiced on my floor, but you know, I am taking a saw to it, so fair enough. So I've got a cut right here. Come on. I have to make little movements because it's gonna stick into the other part of the cutting. That's super difficult. Tell you what, I could not do this without a saw. And I don't think I've ever said that in a video, but obviously I probably would have bought, you know, a little mini hacksaw for this. That would have been ideal, but I don't have stuff like that because as my dad says, if you're gonna buy a tool for the job, you buy a tool for the job. I needed a saw, I bought a saw. So we have another cut piece of the Monstera here with two dirty big great roots on there. Again, this leaf is super, super damaged, but but the variegation on this one is clearly pretty substantial. So there's quite a lot going on in the stem here. To be honest, you can kind of see the variegation up the back of this stem. I don't know if it even wants to focus on there, but there's quite a lot of variegation if I just do that. That's the other one there. That's got some nice variegation on it as well. Wow, that's actually a really pretty one. And there we have the last leaf. So we've actually got through the beast and we won. Now we've done that, really it's on to the easy bit because I'm gonna leave those to callus over like so. Oh, I've sat, oh no, no. <laughs> I've sat in the Monstera juice. Oh, that's nasty, that is nasty. The last thing I'm going to do, and that is what I usually do with the cutting, is I'm going to wrap the root ball with the moss. I'm not gonna wax this either, not only because, you know, the whole fish thing, but actually these are really calloused over. This cup was made, you know, a couple of days ago, just to show you how, you know, tough ones there are. So I'm just gonna moss this up as it is. I don't think it actually requires anything additional. So I have some moss. I would usually use a bag of some kind, but honestly, I don't have any. So all I'm gonna use right now is cling film also known in america i do believe as serene wrap is that what you guys call it cellophane basically i'm using cellophane a form of cellophane i don't know what it is it's cling film i know it to be cling film 
don't judge me. So here's the elbow cutting, and this is the size of the aerial root. It was just growing off the elbow, so obviously that's the part you want. I'm basically gonna very, very, very gently curl it, like so, and I'm gonna moss it up. So that is my current plan. I don't know if you can see this. Maybe I can just tilt the camera down. Hey, I should have done this before. I didn't do this before. I'm very sorry. I'm sorry if any of this was frustrating. So I'm basically kind of fumbling for a way to wrap it without breaking the root there. I think if I just do it gently, that's a really nice way to wrap that. So let's just get some moss around that bad boy. Plenty of it. I'm not going to be shy with it because it's a dirty, great big aerial root. And who knows where it's going to be sent to. It might be sent quite far. I don't know. I'm going to do, and I'm going to just pick it up and look. It's all covered. I'm still going to put a little bit more on because why be shy with the asphagnum moss? I'm literally, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cling film this up. Slash cellophane, slash serene wrap, slash whatever you call it. If you do have a name for it, let me know in the comments. I'm not entirely sure. Over here, we just call it cling film because it clings the things and it puts a film over them. So anyway, now if I feel like I need more cling film, I will, but so far we are doing fine. I'm not gonna wrap too, you know, tight because I'm aware that I've looped that root round. I would say that this is fine. That's more than enough uh, moss to keep that root ball good. So I'm now just gonna put some tape around it to make sure that it's absolutely fine. Now, when I do this, what I don't usually do, I do tape this to secure it, but what I don't do is I don't tape the bottom. And I don't usually do that for a reason. And that's if you want to water it, but you don't want to take it out of wrapping, you can literally just make a hole in the bottom and then dunk it into water and then dunk it out and give it a little bit of a squish. And then it's actually fine. So that is our wrapped up cutting like so. This, by the way, is Monster Elbow Cutting A and it is on sale tonight at 8 p.m. BST on my shop. I will link it down below. But there is one more thing that we need on this little elbow and that is one of my amazing stickers that everyone keeps asking me about. Plop one of these on because that is the finishing touch just to let you guys know that it has come from me. Like so, beautiful. There you go. I love these stickers so much, honestly. I, have, I had one of these stickers on my phone for quite a while and I took it off because it just got absolutely hammered putting my phone down everywhere. So. That's that ready to go. As I say, I'm not gonna moss the rest of them. I just, I, I'm not being funny. I don't even have enough moss to do them all right now. I have that. I have a little bit more over there by the sink, but that is nowhere near enough. So I, I ain't gonna go down that route. You know what I'm saying? I've still got juice right here on the leg region. It's very nice. I'm covered in bits of Monstera, bits of other bits. I don't really know what I'm covered in, to be honest. But all in all, I think that went well. This useless this was a useless useless tool for what i was doing i honestly thought i might get through with that because although it's not a very good knife it is brand new but useless so thank you for watching this i don't know what this is propagate monstera with me hashtag saw monstera I, I don't know while i have you guys i would just like to very quickly give you a kind of sincere apology on the whole rare plant index thing i really 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 want to keep doing rare plant indexes and i will don't don't get me wrong i will but you guys have to know how much work goes into them and how much time goes into them it used to take before i had my shop before i did any of that i think it used to take me honestly nearly two weeks to do a rare plant index so that's when i had like loads of time now I don't have any time at all. <laughs> so red plant indexes are taking a long, long, long time. And that is, you know, that kind of sucks. Don't get me wrong, it does, it sucks. But there's really not a lot I can do about it right now. I'm doing my absolute best to give you guys good videos. I always spend the extra time wherever I've got it on videos and stuff like that. So please bear with me. They will come, red plant indexes will come, but I need a little bit of time on that because I'm kind of, super behind to be honest on kind of life not only that but i do actually have to film some videos ahead of time because i'm going to the international aroid show in september i think it is so i have to get a load of stuff ready for that make sure the shop's okay make sure i've got videos to go out while i'm away so you guys won't miss anything it's just it's gonna be it's gonna be all over the place but I'm doing my best. Please understand I'm doing my best. Same goes, by the way, for Dish the Dirt. I loved that episode. I want to do more. I will be doing more. I'm looking into a few things as we speak. So that's another thing that will also come. Now I'm going to love you and leave you. Thank you for 
I guess giving me your time watching me saw up a monstera, a super rare monstera. Any video requests you have that maybe don't take me as long to do, then please do suggest those in the comments. I will 100% look at those. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. I will see you guys next week and goodbye for now. Have a great weekend. Bye!